Hi, this is Leanne coming to you from my exciting living room here this week. Um, we're glad to be with you all again this week. And hey guys, how's it going? And of course we have the crazy little kid here with her Toy Story friends. So hopefully she'll be quiet enough today. So, so to start things off um, with a simple prayer um, and uh, May being the month of Mary, just a simple Hail Mary to um, put ourselves in the mind and heart and spirit of Mary, our mother. So together in the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Do you sign the cross, Maddie? <laughs> in the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, <laughs> amen. She says, how about you do it? <laughs> so wonderful. So um, we're just here this week again with a few updates. And as you know from last week's email, we will be continuing to do things on Wednesday nights um, past our normally scheduled Young Disciples formation time. So this week, we are thrilled to be able to offer um, at the earlier session, a session for pre-K and kindergarten. We're actually going to be doing a virtual May crowning since this is May and we can't gather together to do one all together. So we'll do it in our homes. So um, as you see in the email that was sent to you, there's a list of things you'll need for tomorrow night. And then we also have our older session tomorrow, John, for nine and 10th gr grade. I'm sorry, I muted myself. Ninth and 10th grade on deck for tomorrow, um, led by our colleague, Michelle Fisher from Eastside Parishes. Um, and then actually just as a, a plug ahead or looking ahead, um, Wednesday, May 13th, um, grades one and two will be on deck for Wednesday, May 13th. So um, be ready for that. Um, grade 10, we have something up our sleeves for um, what would have been a confirmation rehearsal on Wednesday, May 15th. So pay attention to that um, in the details as well. And of course, at any of these times, um, the entire family is welcome to join us. We just decided to break it up by grade level to make the prayer experience age appropriate for that grade level. But certainly at any time, your whole family can join us um, to pray together on Wednesday nights. Speaking of prayer, um, Leanne, I think this might've been what you were thinking about earlier. Um, our small groups for, middle, for high schoolers will continue. Um, we had a few join this past Thursday. It was great to have them. Um, and just a plug for any uh, high school youth um, available, um, Thursdays, 3 p.m., we gather um, via Zoom um, for a simple reflection looking at the readings ahead. Um, so all, all invited, all high schoolers invited to the gathering for that on this Thursday, 3 p.m. And speaking of small, small faith groups, um, our small faith groups are going to be going virtual. So if you're interested and you're an adult, we have that option. We're going to have... Um, hopefully a couple times available, but if you're interested in um, being in a small faith group, if you haven't before, that's okay. If you're new, if you're um, returning, whatever, just send me an email and I will give you the Zoom information. We don't want to just do a broadcast of that, but uh, let me know and we'll get you set up because we definitely want to continue having those small faith groups for adults on a regular basis as well. And the topics for those, um, we do um, reflect on the weekend scriptures, kind of a Lexio Divina experience. So we welcome anyone who'd like to join us. Not much else that I would have to add in there, Leanne. Is there anything else you would add in? No, just so we continue to hold all of you in our thoughts and prayers. We know that there are good days, there are bad days. These are definitely interesting times. Um, just know that, again, you have truly been in our hearts and minds, and we ask for your prayers as well. To conclude in prayer, um, continuing in the theme of Mary, um, the words of Mary, the Magnificat. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. 
for he has remembered his promise of mercy for the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Amen. In the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. We look forward to seeing you all on Wednesday, virtually. I think we have a, I think we have a record here of our shortest weekly update here, Leanne. This is a, that's, a, that's all right. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, um, again, if there's any needs or questions or concerns that you have, either for your family or a family that you know, please don't hesitate to reach out to John or I, um, either via phone call or email. We are here to help.